five different ways that you can wear this bag. It's about time. I'm bringing the jumbo back. So let's get straight into it. brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm sensing after a few years that larger bags are coming back in style. And it's not that they were necessarily out of style to begin with, it's just they just weren't as popular or in demand as smaller bags. So for instance, the Chanel classic jumbo double flap was all the rage years ago and everyone wanted to get the jumbo double flap. And it was hard to get a hold of in boutiques, especially in this combination, caviar with gold hardware, but it was just hard to get one. The demand was so high that the manufacturing of these jumbo handbags was allotted to Italy in order to keep up with the demand. So the majority of jumbo bags are made in Italy. Uh, you can come across some made in France. But lately, I've noticed that they're not as high in demand as the medium classic flap. And you can tell this on the resale market if you look at pre-love websites, the medium classic flaps are actually priced higher uh, for their retail price as compared to the jumbo classic flap. So that is good news if somebody is looking for this bag pre-loved because apparently you can get quite a bit of saving, uh, but these bags have also gone up ridiculously in price since I've purchased these. I think right now at the boutique they're over $10,000, which makes me want to puke, but um, I'm glad I bought mine earlier. It's just, I love this bag. I really love wearing it in the winter time. As I've mentioned before, the strap length is perfect for me on my shoulder when I wear a big coat. I am five foot six, so it does work proportionately with my body frame. I've done a massive review on the comparison of the three sizes, uh, the jumbo, the maxi, and the medium classic flap. So if you want to go check that out, do check it out because there is quite a bit of information in that video on weight, strap length, um, you know, ways to wear it, pros and cons, storage. Like there's just so much information in that video, mod shots. So go watch that video if you want to get a lot more in-depth information. But in this video, I'm just going to go over like how to wear it. I think the reason why it could be that people are deviating away from the jumbo now, even though I'm sensing that this is coming back uh, in demand, but the influencers that really pushed this size and kind of drove everybody to want this particular handbag, they've gotten older. They're older now. And as you get older, your needs and your priorities change. So I know when I was younger, this is just a theory. I don't know if I'm correct, but when I was younger, I wanted to carry everything with me. Like I needed to have all my makeup with me. I needed to have everything with me. I was also commuting. So, um, you know, it, it, now as I've gotten older, I really, don't need to carry my makeup around because I know how to do my makeup and I don't really need to touch up. Um, also with the COVID situation, this whole COVID time is just a complete write-off. So I'm not gonna reference anything in relation to the lifestyle we're living right now, but you know, in general, uh, when things get better. I don't know, I don't really need to carry that stuff with me, but it's nice when you have everything with you. It just You just feel more prepared for the day and you feel like you can take on anything when you have everything you could possibly need with you. So would I take this bag out shopping? I have. Um, it's on the heavy side, I will say that. That's one of the criticisms of this size, particularly in caviar, because caviar is a heavier leather than, say, lambskin. That's what I find. But um, I wouldn't like. I wouldn't be like walking with this on my shoulder all day long, even though I have done it in the past and it really is not that bad. Maybe I just have stronger shoulders. I don't know. Maybe I'm used to it, but it's a full leather bag. So what do you expect? Plus there's a metal chain. So if you want to know more about weight and all that, that is in that previous review, but it does hold enough, uh, everything that you could possibly need. Other criticism for this bag is the strap length is very long and does not make sense. We're gonna take advantage of that extra strap that we're getting with this bag while I review five different ways that you can wear this bag. So let's get straight into it. So the first way to wear this bag is of course double straps. So there is one long strap that you can take through the grommets 
I just double it up and I wear it on my shoulder. This works really well for me because it just it's just you've got enough strap length if you were wearing a bulky coat, etc. Like it just falls at such a beautiful height and I think it just looks so elegant. Wearing it on a single strap does not make sense because it's just really long, even on me. And I think for you to wear this on one shoulder as a single strap, you're probably gonna have to be like seven feet tall for it to make sense. And worry not, the way that you get around it is by getting a strap shortening clip, okay? I featured these before where you can use these clips to get in between these links to shorten the strap so that you can wear it at whatever length you want. So you can wear it on your shoulder, single strap, but then you can also take it crossbody if you want to wear it crossbody. And I think it works really well. So you can tie a ribbon if you really wanted to. You can tie a ribbon on the inside, but I really prefer these uh, bag strap clips because they're just a little bit stronger uh, and they, they're just really pretty. You don't have to really tie a ribbon. So. Do look into that as well. The third option is to wear this as a top handle briefcase. So what you do is you take the entire strap and pull it out and you can drop the rest of the strap into the bag and when you close it this strap is not moving anywhere it stays put and you can hold it as just a top handle. This is actually really comfortable given how you know, if, if you find this bag to be heavy on your shoulder, if you carry it as a top handle, it works really well and it looks quite elegant as well. If you really wanted to like slip it under your arm as a really oversized clutch, you could do so, but I really like this. You can tie a twilly around it if you wanted to as well. Just gives it a bit of a different look. So you got yourself a little top handle bag. The other way to wear it, now I've introduced this in my previous video uh, in that massive review and I discovered this a couple of years ago. Uh, I don't know anyone else who has done it. I feel like I discovered it myself. So I'm going to credit myself because I didn't see anybody else do this. But it's to wear this bag as a backpack. So there are two ways to wear it. Uh, the first way I thought of or discovered. And then there's a second way to turn this handbag into a backpack, which I saw on TikTok. So the first way is just take your handbag double strap and then cross the two straps. So now you have two armholes right in here and you can thread one arm through here and one arm through here and then you have yourself a backpack. And you know, I've, if you wanna wear it like that, that's fine. Some people don't like backpacks because of security issues. If you live in a particular area where there's a lot of pickpocketing, um, they're gonna really have to fumble to get into this bag because there's one flap and then the other flap and then there's a turn lock. and. Uh, you know, and you guys just got to be careful. So I think that's the case with any backpack, not particularly this. The other method I saw, which is on TikTok, and I did a little video, uh, you know, duetting that uh, person's video, and they weren't using a Chanel bag. They were just using a regular shoulder bag. And what they did was really, really neat. Um, you have to start with the bag backwards first, and then you swing it over your head so that it lands face up on your back and I thought that was really really cool so what you want to do is you want to take the entire length of the strap and turn the bag so that it's backwards you put it around your shoulder you put your arms through you grab the body of the bag and then you bring it over your shoulder and then you have a backpack so if you want to do it that way you could do it that way and that works really well the other method which I really like that I also discovered on my own, I never saw anybody else wear the jumbo in this way, so I'd like to credit myself, but if somebody else got this idea, that's great too, is to wear Gabrielle style. So you know how you have the Chanel Gabrielle, you have that very, very long strap, and I don't know, there's like a bajillion ways to wear that bag. So there's, I call it the Gabrielle style, where again, you have the two straps, and what you do is put one arm through both straps, you take the strap that's facing you over your head while one is around your shoulder so you kind of have this like side bag and you bring it around the back and I've worn this bag like this before um, when traveling because it just is a little bit more secure than just having it on your shoulder like it's really hard for somebody to like pull it off your body and I think 
this looks really really good it's it's a lot more casual I would say so if you have this in like silver hardware it will look amazing like very very edgy but it works with gold hardware as well okay guys so I hope that you enjoyed this video uh, if you haven't subscribed already do subscribe hit the like button and also tap the notification bell anytime I do upload a new video then you'll get a notification you won't miss any of my videos I am trying to upload at least once a week which I've always been doing but I've been trying to upload more so like two videos a week so stick around if you like more information if you have any questions do put in the comment section down below and I will be happy to answer your questions until then I will see you next time Bye.